This is Lynn Mortis. We're going to look at the Kentucky Derby. Here we are coming up on the first Saturday in May. And, you know, it's a mile and a quarter. Everybody knows that. Three-year-olds on the dirt. It's the main race of the year to about everybody. Kentucky Derby is about as big as you can get. It's a, well, everybody knows Louisville comes alive. It's really a great experience to go to the Derby. I think everybody should go. I mean, it's it's a super big crowd. Everybody's happy. I hadn't been there in 20 years, but I love the Derby. I've never missed one on TV anyway, never. It's probably the most prestigious race in the world, in, in my eyes anyway. And, well, this year, well, there's all kinds of, there could be eight to 10 horses who could win this race. And with well, this big field of 20, it's, in my eyes, it's really impossible to handicap the Kentucky Derby with any kind of uh, confidence that you're going to win the race. And it's a fun race to bet every year, this year especially. Who knows? I don't think there's no real clear, con con you know, top contender. There's a bunch of top contenders, a bunch of horses to win this race. Eight of them possible, 10 maybe, maybe 15 or 16 horses in this race could win. Really, it's just a super bunch of horses. And when you have a stampede of horses like it's going to come down that stretch, you know, they got to fight through that. The best horses get shuffled back or could get shuffled back. But it'll take a tough horse to run a mile and a quarter and fight that crowd. So every who wins is a tough horse for sure. I'm going to start off looking at Epicenter. Epicenter, you know, won five out of six races in his life. And since the first race, he's been awesome. And he ran, he lost, I don't know, back in, call me midnight beating back there and in the Lecompte and beat him by a head. This horse has really been real tough. He's just a real versatile horse. He can come, he can fight a crowd and still win. He's proved that. And he can go to the front and hang on. And he ran a mile and three sixteenth in the last outing there at the Louisiana Derby grade two. And I think he faced some good horses there. And yeah, you know, I've read where he didn't have tough competition there, but I think he ran a great race against a whole bunch of good horses. And he has one at Churchill. Sometimes these horses come run at different parts of the country. Don't do real well at Churchill, but he's won there, so he can handle it. Great trainer like Asmussen. Not this time as a sire. Rosario up. This horse should, I mean, I, I really think this horse is going to win, but who knows. I don't like that one hole he's coming out of. Anyway, we're going to move on to Zayden. That's another super horse. He's only ran four times. Two wins, second and a third. His star is upstart. You know, he's got some big-time winners in this. He's got some big-time horses in his pedigree. I guess they all do. Zayden ran third in that. No, he, he ran third in the, against Epicenter. And there is a star. Come back and really look good in the bluegrass. He's faced tough, a lot of tough horses throughout all four of his races, or at least the last three of some tough horses. White and Burial coming out of the third hole. He, he's a, I, I like his horse a lot, and you know, I mean, his horse should win this race. My only drawback on him, you know, I mean, he's been down there in Florida, and when he did come out of Florida, he came to Churchill, and it was his only race he didn't win, and he didn't run bad, but he ran third and against eleven horses, and and uh, that's it. But that's his only race he didn't win, so that concerns me. But I kind of well, his speed ratings are not as good as most of the horses, but the speed range is just part of it, and you know, you know, the pace and where they ran at, and who the crowd he ran against, all that matters. I wouldn't worry too much about speed ratings when it comes to White or Burial, Mo Donago. That's really a tough horse, too. Man, I like them all. I mean, you could make a point for any of these horses to win. He won last time out up there at the Wooden Memorial. Won by a neck, I think. Won three out of his last four. The only time he didn't win was, was the Holy Bull, and he had a little trouble at the break. He broke out slow, I should say. Mo Donigo's coming out of the four-hole. He's definitely a threat. Tis a bomb coming out of the five hole. He's got a, he's out of a dame out of Tis now, so he has to, Tis a key out of Tis now. 
So Tizabom's tough. But he's got a uh, he's got a lot of experience. I'm not going with Tis the Bomb. Cyber Knife. Come out six ho. Brad Cox trained. So you know he's a good horse. I don't know. I just I'm not going with him. I, he did he came he did win that Arkansas Derby and he, he only held on top to that race, but then he beat Barbara Road, but in Secret Oath. I like Secret Oath. So but I, I don't know. I'm passing on him. Next race is I don't know if it's interesting or just hard to figure. Crown Pride. It's easy to throw Crown Pride out, but those Japanese horses have improved. And, and what little I could tell about this horse is the only time he didn't win is when it was on a muddy track. And he ran a mile and 3 16th last out, and he won that race. And that was a UAE. And I don't, I don't know. That's a big-time race there. Still going to pass on him. I have a hard time pulling for any overseas horses. Taba, eight ho. You got a pretty good post position for 20 horse stampede. This horse very, very lightly raced. I don't think anybody's ever come back on the third race and won the Kentucky Derby. And he's coming out of Santa Anita, which is, I really like Santa Anita track. Taba's, he's only, both his races, well, one race he, in his maiden race, he faced seven. There was seven horses in the race, and you know that's a big race. A lot of horses at the Santa Anita. You'd like it. some days you got four horses running, and then um, next race six. So I think going against twenty horses, twenty really really tough horses, it's going to expose his uh, inexperience. He did beat Mezier. He looked real good in that, and Happy Jack. He beat him, and but I'm still. I, I just don't think. Uh, I think Mezier could be a super horse, but. I still think coming to Kentucky is going to be a, you know, pretty rough job for this horse. Now the nine hole, we got simplification. I like that horse. And White and Burials beat him twice, so that, that's one bad sign there. Here's another one I think might have a little shipping problems. Smile Happy, he's in ten hole. I kind of like Smile Happy as an outside chance because. I don't know if he could beat Zayden. He didn't beat him. Epicenter beat him, but it's 20 horse field. Who knows what's going to happen? And he's a stalker, which, in my opinion, might help this race. Sired by Run Happy, trained by McPeak. Pretty tough. Good, with another great jockey up. Tony Port. Tony Port. Coming out 11 ho. I went against Tony Port last time in the election, and he won. I'm going to go against him again this time. Barber Road, and tough horse, just don't seem to hit the winner's circle enough to put any money on him. Uno Ojo did real well in that long shot race that he won. Paid big. I'm still going against him. Early voting, I think early voting's overlooked. Chad Brown trained. Two wins out of three. And he lost, he's like a neck off from being undefeated, and Mo Donegal beat him, and you know Mo Donegal's tough, and he's in this race, and I, I just think uh, early voting is going to cause a lot of trouble, and you might get a good price on him. Morello's another good long shot, I think. Throw out that last race, he had tr big time trouble, and he's won three races in a row. Then he had, then he ran real bad last time out. He won the Gotham by four and a half. I mean, he might not have been. He hasn't beaten a lot of these horses, if any. But I still think he's got a good chance to hit the boards as a long shot. Mezier, I love Mezier. Mezier, Mezier, whatever it is. He, uh, I love his horse. Really, uh, I didn't worry too much about Taba beating him. I think Taba's a super horse. I look for Mezier to be there in the top three or four. I mean, he's going to be, this is really a tough horse. Zozos, he just barely ran behind uh, Epicenter. And the only race he didn't win out of three. And Epicenter beat him by two and a half. And Epicenter ran really tough in that race, in my opinion. Down there in Louisiana Derby, mile 316. So those can't be overlooked. Summer is tomorrow. You're on the way outside, outside way out there. Uh, we don't know what to think about this horse. Um, I don't know what to think about him. He's won five out of seven. Another overseas horse. He ran just... He ran two and three quarters length off the last race out. It's a million dollar race with 
against Crown Pride. So these horses can't be thrown out. Like I said, those Japanese horses are improving and overseas horses are improving all in general. Charge it. He ran in his gate last out against White Embraerial. And uh, he hung right there with him. And you know, it was a mile and eighth race. I mean, I'm not going to charge it, but I sure wouldn't be surprised if he didn't hit the board. He's going to draw a lot of money. I'm not going with Happy Jack, but he did run third in his six-horse field out in California there. Taba and Mezger in front of him, two super horses. Of course, he was nowhere close. Not going with Pioneer and Medina. He uh, did run, you know, fairly close, third and fourth against some of the best horses in due time. If he gets in, uh, I don't look for him to win, but he ran pretty close to simplification in Tawny Port at Three Old Road. Lucas trained. I'm not going with this horse, but I like Lucas a lot. It wouldn't hurt my feelings if he won. Well, that's a long look this time at the Kentucky Derby. Um, I don't know. I'm, I like early voting, maybe hit the boards. Mo Donago, Epicenter for the win. Taba, a lot of good horses. I mean, there's a bunch of horses, and there's some trifectas could really pay. Superfectas. You know, the, and as far as I'm concerned, this is really wide open of a bunch of really, really good horses. Well, good luck, everybody, at the Kentucky Derby.